bows or crossbows. Every now and then when I'm doing an archery video on my channel, someone will come along and say, you should just use a crossbow. Crossbows are better. But how wrong are they actually? Putting aside for the moment the fact that weapon choice for fantasy characters is a purely aesthetic thing, let's look at some of the differences. One difference that often gets touted in favour of crossbows is power. Crossbows historically would range up into the hundreds of pounds of draw weight, whereas bows would tend to get to around 180 at most. But draw weight alone can be deceptive. The higher draw weights of crossbows are often used to counteract the fact that the draw length is quite a lot shorter. For example, this pistol crossbow has a draw weight of 80 pounds, but because its power stroke is so short, it actually imparts less energy into a target than a bow with a draw of 60 pounds. So although some of the more powerful crossbows did hit monstrous draw weights, they weren't necessarily that much more powerful than the bows of the time. And once you've shot your crossbow, you're not exactly going to be reloading it like Daryl Dixon. It takes both hands and probably also a foot to get the next bolt in. Well, a skilled archer can be shooting anywhere between 10 and 30 arrows in a minute. But crossbows also have some big advantages. Although they are more complex and therefore more expensive to make, they're a lot easier to learn to use. If you want an army of crossbow users, you only need a few months to train them to be reasonably good. Whereas the training time for an army of war archers can be realistically measured in generations. So if you don't already have a long-standing culture of archery use, you're much better off equipping them with crossbows. Because being very fast with a lighter bow doesn't actually help you when the target's wearing heavy armor. So a heavy crossbow might just be what you need to close the gap. Especially if you don't have time to build the strength for a war bow. But for my money, the biggest difference between bows and crossbows is much more fundamental than that. For a crossbow, you've got front rest, back rest, sights, barrels, grips, shooting mechanisms, and sometimes even loading mechanisms. Whereas for a bow, the majority of those components are actually the archer. Your eyes are the sights, your body's the barrel, your hands are the shooting mechanism, your arms the loading mechanism. It's why they take a lot longer to learn, and why you'll very rarely see me using one of these. Because while you can John Wick about with them, if you want to shoot faster, or upside down, or two arrows at once, you have to make physical modifications to the mechanism of the bow. You're specialising it in what you're trying to do. But with a bow, I can accommodate all sorts of different styles by just changing what I do with my own body. And that's why this will always be my choice. Stick around for more.